Yo, what's up you guys? It's your boy CK and we are back on the Mad 15 Ultimate Team. And this video is gonna be basically showing you how I completed the Mutt Gauntlet, man. The grind was freaking real. <laughs> it was definitely not easy, but you know, it actually was kinda easy. Now I think about it. It was just uh, it was just annoying. Um, playing a bunch of solo challenges back to back to back, man. If you're really about that life, go ahead and knock it out. It's definitely not difficult. Um, as you see, I'm using my farm account, 83 overall team, going against these high-powered juggernauts, and we're actually shutting them out, man. Beat the Seahawks, beat the Patriots in back-to-back -back succession. Uh, we did end up losing a few games along the road. We lost to some bummy-ass teams, man. And if you if you somehow go all 33 games undefeated, man, props to you, man. I couldn't do it. Um, I obviously just fooled around too much, and we end up losing a few games. I think it was to like the Cardinals, the Bills and maybe the Colts, I don't remember. But yeah, they're definitely pretty pretty dumb losses, man. But anyways, it's gonna happen to all of us. Um, right here, I'm about to show you the 99 overall squat. I mean, look at that, Michael Vick, Bo Jackson, Walter P, Franco Harris, Jerry Rice. I mean, so many studs on this team. And I was actually relieved when it was Mike Vick because when you play solos, the opposing quarterback usually dots you up if it's like Peyton Manning or Aaron Rodgers, especially when they have amazing weapons. But Michael Vick, he doesn't have the best accuracy. So if we can find a way to keep him in the pocket and hopefully keep the ball out of Bo's hands, we might have a chance to get this on the first try, man. And this is actually what we're going to do, man. With my 83 overall team, we're going to find a way to keep this one close. But look at this. First and 10, Bo knows touchdowns as he's going to scamper all the way in. For a touchdown, breaking off three, four tackles, and he's going to get into the end zone, man. That's just what Bo does, man. You really can't find a way to stop that. But we do have our own running back that really just carried the load for me along the road, man. Shane Vereen just absolutely dominated in these solo challenges, man. He didn't fumble too often. He might have fumbled once or twice, but this guy was just amazing. He really was the workhorse, man. I obviously just ran the ball a lot. And ran a lot of drag routes as you see right here just throwing you know short simple passes don't want to make it too complicated because then you just you end up throwing picks you end up doing dumb stuff so right here we just hand the ball off let Shane Vereen do the dirty work get into the end zone I mean that's what you want to do man look at that tight man coverage but these plays these drag routes these crossing routes they're always going to be there they're always going to be effective against the computer even online man so anyways run the counter we get Sproles all the way down into uh, the 10 yard line and whenever whenever you're down in these solo challenges I know you want to have the true clock feature on but whenever you have that lane whenever you have the opportunity to score do not miss it man don't dive out of bounds on purpose because you want to waste 10 more seconds or whatever no you take your opportunity take advantage of uh, when you have a chance to score man especially when you're down if you're up then I understand uh, you know diving down wasting a couple more minutes but if you're down especially playing against these high power teams uh, you definitely, definitely want to um, take your chance to score. But right here, obviously, they're in a passing situation. So we won that battle, man. We got the ball out of Bo's hands. Now Vic has to beat us, man. But he's doing a good job throwing these out routes. And right here. Oh, my God. Bruh, how do you drop that, man? That's game if you get that. I was so heated, man. Because right there, it looked like Vic was about to score. First and goal, you can already guarantee Bo's going to get in. But no. We actually stopped him. So, hey, second and goal, man. We're going to try and do it again, and we do. So, third and goal. We run commit. Really, nigga? Dumbest decision ever. Or was it really? I mean, you had Bo in the backfield. We were expecting a run. Oh, well, it is what it is because the next play, <laughs> I'm celebrating for whatever reason, man. That could have been very costly for us, but we do somehow get the touchdown. Shane Vereen's absolutely amazing, man. I'm telling you guys. I think that's like the 84 overall card stud i hope he has a better card because i'm looking to pick him up in the future right there prime time he's gonna seal this up for us and we're gonna end up completing the mud gauntlet so there you guys have it man the 99 overall team it looked a lot more intimidating than it actually was man but hey we ended up completing it didn't take us too long and here we have four pro packs four veteran packs two two badge packs and two three badge packs so i did end up uh, pulling the pro packs and the badge packs, but unfortunately my Elgato decided to F up and Yeah, I didn't record that or I tried to record it, but my Elgato was just being stupid So we did not get that on camera and um, right here I'm just showing you guys the where um, the collectible goes 
and you have to get the grandmaster you have to get the mutt master and the roadmaster all that stuff that we really didn't even attempt to do we just did these solos to get the coins man that's basically what i wanted to do right here i'm just going to open up the veteran packs for you guys um honestly they're trash <laughs> they were absolutely trash veteran packs are garbage but not anymore man now you have uh these golds or not these golds these silvers and bronzes that actually go for something so that's a good thing man you end, we end up pulling someone amazing at the end of this in the last veteran pack um not gonna spoil it but there's some rare bronzes and silvers out there man that you might have in your binder so just be on the lookout um check in your uh binder make sure make sure you check the auction market for which ones are going for a lot um yeah, you're gonna see who we end up pulling, man. I was really freaking hyped because I ended up pulling him a couple of um, pro packs before this video, and it was crazy, man. I looked on the auction market, he was going for like 60k, so I had to uh, put him up for like half of that just to make sure he sold. And then we end up pulling him right here again. This guy, Cornelius Washington, almost quick sold him. That would have been tragic, but yeah, this is what we do, man. We end up uh, looking his price up. And um, it's crazy, man. We just we just got him too. We just put him up, so that's like what 60k at least, because we're gonna sell both of them for like 30k uh, if they sell. Hopefully they do. But that's yeah, that's one of the rarest bronzes that are in one of these trophy sets. So that's always good. <laughs> right there we have them. So we're basically controlling the auction market right there. That's what I do, man. You already know. So, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.